Yeah, I was watching the video about uh, the proposal for the uh, less than famous uh, uh, panel at VidCon. Uh, it sounds like a good idea because I'm uh, I'm one of those YouTubers. Uh, I, I struggle with my numbers. Uh, I'm sort of hovering around the 75 mark. Uh, before it took me a year to get up to 60, the 60 mark, and and now it's been a couple, about a month or so at uh, the 75 mark. But, you know, no problems, you know, that, that's, you know, I was never popular before anyway, so why would I expect to be popular now on YouTube? So, it's just a uh, platform for me to do my work, which is basically uh, research, as a uh, scientist, and um, um, working on developing two channels on YouTube uh, that will showcase my research. So, that's why I, well, how I come to YouTube. Um, for VidCon, uh, I'm not really a person who travels too much uh what i'd be interested in and, and this might be an idea that you might consider is that uh um whether or not you'd allow people to uh, be on the panel virtually in other words uh instead of being there physically at vidcon if i'm uh let's say at my office on a wi-fi link uh let's say via skype or something like that that uh I could uh, join you guys via Wi-Fi, you know, in other words, uh, attend VidCon virtually. That's, that, that, that's sort of one of the things I'm sort of thinking about is whether or not uh, uh, it's the possibility to find enough people who will let me sort of piggyback off their system or, if, or whether or not um, the, the uh, venue at, uh, at where, the, where VidCon is, ha is, is uh, actually has free Wi-Fi and whether or not uh, I could sort of... Uh, piggyback off of somebody's uh, <laughs> system. In other words, uh, see the, the the VidCon through their eyes. So, I don't know. Is it, it, I'd be up for the panel if, if, you, if you're opening up a virtual spot and you're thinking about opening up a virtual spot. I'd be interested in doing that. So, uh, yeah. Alrighty. Take it easy.